because there's three phases of degeneration. So we know phase one, as soon as you get an accident, the curve is going to go straight. And that's when people start having headaches, anxiety, problems sleeping. It can um, interfere with your breathing. You can have tightness in the chest. You can start having heart conditions, numbness and tingling in the hands and fingers. All of that from just a whiplash in the neck. And if it is uncorrected, then it will start creating health problems. So. Welcome everybody back to the Healthy Habit Podcast. Dr. Roxanne Zamora is back with us today, our doctor of chiropractic medicine here on the Healthy Habit Podcast. She's been in practice in North Phoenix, just up the road from us here, at the same location for 14 years. Dr. Zamora provides chiropractic corrective care and, and car accident care for all ages. Welcome back to the podcast, Doc. How are we doing? Thank you. I always love um, chatting with you. Because Likewise. Because we get so much great information from uh, you, you as well. Absolutely, folks. And if you missed our first episode with Dr. Zamora, Zamora make sure you uh, head over to our YouTube channel or our Spotify channel uh, to stay in the loop. This is our part two discussion. So, Dr. Zamora, what's uh, one thing I wanted to know is, you know, car accidents, chiropractic care is very important here. And a lot of people, they just go to the hospital after their accident, the ER visit, go home after on pain meds, and that's it. They're done. Why yeah. is it a good idea to consider potentially seeing a chiropractor? after that after you're all patched back up and then like the days and weeks and months afterwards yeah absolutely um because what will happen is people if they go to the er or urgent care uh, they'll say oh you're okay and because what they're looking for are fractures right and so what they're saying is there's no fractures or internal bleeding or any concerns like that but structurally, your spine is injured, right? Um, your structure, uh, I've never seen a car accident patient that didn't have a straight curve in their neck. Because if we remember, when we look at the spine from the side, you need a curve in your spine. Um, that goes straight because the muscles, their sprain, strain, ligament tears, muscle tears, all of that can happen. Um, and then it develops into chronic long-term concerns. Hmm. Um, headaches is one. You know, you can get a whiplash at three to seven miles per hour. Um, so people will think, oh, you know, I just had a fender bender. That's not necessarily a fender bender to your spine, right? It could be significant damage that you don't even know. And it doesn't take a lot of pressure to concuss the brain um, and so that's not something that's going to show up necessarily when you go to the ER as well. Right. You'd start having fuzzy thinking. You can't remember what you were doing. And also you can start having digestive issues, which a lot of people don't realize too, because we know that our gut is our second brain. Right. And once you cause some damage to the brain, which we would call traumatic brain injury or concussion, um, and you don't have to get knocked out. So I have a lot of people think, oh, I have to be unconscious to have a, a TBI, traumatic brain injury. And that's not necessarily true. So when we look at the spine after an accident, we take x-rays, we do a lateral uh, A to P, from, that means from the front, and then do a flexion and extension to see if the ligaments are damaged as well. Amazing. Um, because we don't we want to avoid long-term chronic issues because 60% of people who've had an accident will have chronic headaches after that. So uh, you've seen cases, people coming in after, you know, they had a car accident recently within the last three months, three to six months, they come in with headaches and yeah. when they left, they don't have, they have less of a headache or they feel better right after that adjustment. Yeah. Um, and one thing that's really wonderful, we have some amazing patients, our practice members, we love them. Um, on our Facebook, uh, one of our patients last week had mentioned how she had headaches every day. Right. And when she was done with care, she no longer has headaches. And she said she could never even imagine that, that that was possible. Um, and, you know, it's interesting as well is I have patients who will come in maybe four or five years after an accident 
and on their initial paperwork, they'll say, I don't know if it's from this, but I had an accident four years ago. And I noticed ever since then, I'm like, yes, absolutely. Um, and that's the message I really want to get people to, to uh, wrap their head around because monsoon season is coming. And also, yeah. so we know nationally, Phoenix mm -hmm. has some of the worst accidents. Like, we're oh, known wow. for it. Um, when I moved from Chicago to here, I was like, oh, my car insurance will go down because, you know, we have snowstorms and everything horrible, like inclement weather. And then when I got here, they're like, no, actually, your insurance is going to go up because we have so many car accidents wow. here. Like, oh, my goodness. I never anticipated really? that. Mm -hmm. So now that monsoon season is coming, we know that that will increase. So I want people to take care of their health, even if they don't see um, the ER, urgent care doesn't see fractures, your spine has damage. Um, and then the concern with that is then you're more prone to re-injury right. if we don't get your structure solid. And the name of your clinic's Imagine Wellness Chiropractic, correct? Yes. Can you give that address real quick? And I'll also put it yeah. in the description box. It's 822 East Union Hills Drive, Suite 22. We're in a strip mall and we're uh, next to the Dollar Tree. Got it. And so I read in the bio, you do a lot of chiropractic care post that car accident care. Is that one of the main reasons people come initially to see you, Dr. Zamora, like for after car accident care? Well, I'd say 50-50. I have okay. a lot of families and a lot of uh, patients who um, have had some chronic issues and people have either told them like, Hey, go see our Cairo. Um, she practices a little bit different because what I do is, is a little different than a typical chiropractic visit okay. because uh, corrective care, we uh, look at the structure and then I always take post x-rays after their um, care plan is done so we can compare pre and post because it's exciting. Patients feel better, but it's exciting to literally see the change, right? Because my goal is to restore the integrity of the curve. Wow. What are some, um, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Sorry, you cut out there real quick. Go ahead, Dr. Zamora. No. And just to make sure that they, so that if there is another injury, their spine is strong enough to withstand it. Amazing. So we're in 2023 now. There's so many different, uh, you know, new techniques, new technologies have emerged. Yeah. There's chiropractic medical journals that are constantly being published. Yeah. quarterly or monthly yeah. what things are you doing today if anything you know some practitioners they still use what works for 20 years you know what are new things that you might be doing today that you weren't doing let's say a couple decades ago when you first started um because corrective care we do i have patients wear head weights on their head it's a two pound weight wow. um which then will start correcting their writing reflex and by writing it's not like horse riding it's riding like upright because when you're in an accident, the curve goes straight. Then what happens is the shoulders will start rounding to mm -hmm. support the head because then it's like having 30 pounds um, of your head pulling forward adds 30 pounds of pressure to your spine. So we have them wear a head weight while they're on a vibrational platform, which helps correct that right the upright reflex, wow. and start strengthening the muscles and ligaments in order for them to come back. Um, and then we have a standing traction that will help bring nutrients into the disc, uh, which then helps stop arthritic spurs from developing uh, or getting to the next phase because there's three phases of degeneration. So we know phase one, as soon as you get an accident, the curve is going to go straight. That's when people start having headaches, anxiety, problems sleeping. It can um, interfere with your breathing. You can have tightness in the chest. You can start having heart conditions, numbness and tingling in the hands and fingers. All of that from just a whiplash in the neck. And if it is uncorrected, then it will start creating health problems. So, Wow. Yeah, and you wouldn't think even it has an effect on your emotional health after a while and on, on different body functions. You don't realize yeah. it's tied to upstream these nerves that are being affected, right? Yeah, absolutely. And we we um, 
have people start taking some supplements to help the brain heal as well. What are some of your favorites for that? I just read a great article. We, we used to have a neurotrophin from Standard Process, which I, you know, I really love their supplements. But I, I started reading an article on Boswellia and I saw that it also helps the brain heal. So I thought that was fascinating because then you're covering a lot that, you know, it yeah. helps the body feel better overall, but then it also helps brain health. So I was like, oh, this is exciting. So now we're going to start incorporating that as well. Amazing. So again, that's neurotrophin. We have that right here in, at Healthy Habit Health Foods through Standard awesome. Process. They've been around since 1929, which is wild. Yeah. Um, over almost 100 years, they've been going yeah. strong. And yeah. then, of course, Boswellia, we carry with multiple uh, great herbal companies. Yeah. Um, so what are some of the more unusual cases, maybe something that comes to mind that you were just, wow, this is amazing. This, if anything, is on yeah. your radar. People always love to hear you know, chiropractic, amazing stories, healing stories. Yeah, it's so interesting where I had a patient come in and she had muscle wasting for years. And so every six months, her doctor would test and see what's, you know, how she was progressing. Was it improving, getting worse, stabilized? And she had been doing this for four or five years. Um, once she started getting under chiropractic care, she said she went into her doctor and the doctor was like, I don't like, I don't know what's happening, but it's actually starting to improve. And it's the first time. And she's like, well, I'm not doing anything different except for getting adjusted. So the doctor was like, well, keep it up because I can tell that there's a marked improvement in her muscle wasting. Wow. So that was huge for me. Amazing. Those, those <laughs> muscles started getting their nerve supply back, right? Yes. And firing back to how they're supposed to yeah and absolutely. regenerating amazing yeah. um so we're talking to dr roxanne zamora folks doctor of chiropractic medicine here at north phoenix and i'll be linking the phone number website and address below this video in the description box so what advice would you give someone dr zamora uh, who's interested in pursuing a career in chiropractic medicine you know maybe they're even in high school right now or you know, they went to a chiropractor for sports and they're, I don't know, in their teens and they benefited. What's some advice? I would say definitely do it. Um, talk to a chiro. Anybody could always call me. I would love to talk to them because we do see miracles all the time. Um, and BJ Palmer, who founded the School of Chiropractic, he said, expect a miracle. And that's what we do. Um, I had a baby. Uh, she was two months old and she had stopped having a bowel movement for two weeks. So she took her to the MD and they gave her some medication. It didn't work. And they're like, well, if it does, she doesn't start having a bowel movement, we're going to schedule a surgery. So the mom was frantic, called us, scheduled an appointment. We checked the baby. I adjusted her and the, because the sacrum and the low back, your lumbar, those nerves control the intestine, colon, and bowels, right? So I, and adjusting the baby is like checking the ripeness of a tomato. I mean, there's very <laughs> little pressure, right? Wow. So you check that. I adjusted her. And as soon as I picked up the baby and went to hand her to mom, she had a blowout. Hmm. So those are the kind of things, I mean, not every day is amazing, right? Every day is wonderful because right. we know, Every time a patient gets adjusted, their immune is 200% stronger. So that we know the body's healing and repairing. Mm -hmm. But it's exciting to see that and to literally help change people's lives. So if you're considering it, anybody can always call me. I would love to um, talk to them yeah. and give them some guidance. And you work with all ages? All, all yeah. ages from babies to, I have a patient that's 89. Wow. Perfect. Okay. So, uh, really cool. What are some tips you can provide for people just from listening to the show to start maintaining their good posture and spine health? You mentioned those two pound weights, right? Is yeah. that something someone can buy right now and, and practice before they go to sleep or something? What else? Well, can pe everyone's hunched over like this. Yeah, everybody. Definitely. Every I've noticed everybody. Yeah. <laughs> and so we call that forward head posture or now to, we yeah. call it text neck, right? Oh, okay. Because we've always, 
called the forward head posture, but tech snack because we are on our phones, we are on our computers with yeah. our heads down. So first of all, what I would do is, you know, raise your monitor on your computer so that it's eye level. Mm -hmm. When you use your phone, and this is even tricky for me, I'll catch myself doing it. If you can hold your phone up when you're on your phone instead of looking down. Yeah. So those are things that I would start doing. You know, there's some stretches you can do. And if people email us, we can send some of those to them as well. And they, they can also get on our email list. Um, we send out, we have a blog once a month and uh, we send out emails with information as well. So those with, are some things that you can start doing right away that help. Good. Do you advocate for using foam rollers and, you know, those ones that go on the ground, they have the different ridges on them and air, do you ever re recommend those? Yeah. And we, um, some of them, you have to be really careful. Like if you were talking about foam rollers to roll out, yes, uh, those are wonderful. But I've seen some instruments that they've advertised on TV or Facebook where people are lying down. It's uh, it goes under their neck. Yeah. Those almost do worse, Nothing. more, more damage because it's still not centered properly because um, for our patients, we give them traction to use at home because I can monitor it, see where it's positioned correctly. Right. Um, and I've seen, and whatever you guys do, don't get this one. I see it's like a uh, attraction that goes over the door and then it pulls their head. So it takes pressure off that's doing the exact opposite of what you want. Right. It may temporarily feel good, but it's also training your neck to go straight. Okay. When I see those, I'm like, oh, please, people, whatever you do, do not get that over the door traction that's pulling your neck straight. Okay, over the door traction, be that. careful, beware, compared to yes. a foam roller that goes on the ground that's probably like from a sports medicine website, yeah. kinesiology yeah. type, where you roll on the floor, like yeah. the tight muscles, different. Yeah. Good. Thanks for clarifying that. What are some misconceptions about chiropractic? Like I want people to really, it's not talked about enough on podcasts. You know, I just want yeah. to go deep on chiropractic. What are misconceptions that you really want people to know are myths or that they should know about? Um, I, uh, one is people say, Oh, once you go, you always have to go. Okay. And I say, ah, oh, you don't always have to, but when people feel well, and they, let's say they don't, I haven't seen them in a month. They'll be like, oh, I could feel it coming back. So it isn't that you have to always go one, they feel better. Life is changing, right? They're thinking better. Their digestion is better. Their sleep is better. They don't want to lose that. So it's not that they have to come back. They want to keep their health going. Um, and I say, it's like this, when you get your braces off, you still have to wear a retainer right? Or your teeth will go back. We all know somebody mm. who didn't wear their retainer and their teeth went, went back. back to being crooked. And so I always encourage patients to do some kind of maintenance care so that it doesn't go back because over time it will. That's just the physics of the spine, right. right? Of the body. So that's, that's one misconception. Once you go, you always have to. Amazing. And the chiropractic only for pain right? It's really about healing the body. I remove the interference, which we call subluxation. I remove that interference and then the body will start healing and repairing. Um, so it's not just about pain. It's about helping the body heal and be well. Mm, that's a good clarification right there. Yeah. That's important. So I know it's going to be different for everybody. If you're working on a baby versus an 88 year old individual, uh, the, what you do for them, but on average, yeah. if we zoom out, what would be like an, a go-to routine that you would do for somebody, a basic one, a standard, let's say, yeah. across the board? What would a, an adjustment session look like and how long would it be approximately? Yeah. So I know for, it's different, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, and uh, I always like to clear, clarify our office is not a quick fix, right? It's not like you're adjusted here or there when you're in pain or when you're mm -hmm. not. It We call up with a, a care plan to literally change the structure of the okay. spine so it's you know it takes time um but what it looks like typically is we always start with uh x-rays for all patients so we can see arthritis you know any degenerative disc disease 
what kind of motion they have. Um, and then once they're under care, a visit is typically 20 minutes. Um, they come in, they do some standing tractions, which brings nutrients into the disc, stops arthritis from getting to the next phase, uh, gets the spinal fluid flowing, it helps break up muscle splinting, and the body's more fluid for adjusting. And they also do um, a wobble therapy um, that heats up the the disc in the low back. And if it's bulging um, or degenerating, it'll pull the fluid in and start healing it. Wow. And then they get adjusted. I work on them, help their structure. And then they go on to a vibrational platform with the two pound weight on their head and then do that for another 10 minutes. Um, for my car accident patients, I also put them on an intersegmental rolling table because that helps heal the tears in the muscles and the ligaments and will help the fluid in the disc as well. So it could be a 20 or maybe let's say 15 to 25 minute visit, depending okay. on what therapy. Well, Right. Need. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not just you come in and get adjusted like in the movie, the crack, and then they're yeah. out of there. No, we're yeah. doing using different techniques, and yeah. you're spending time with them. And yeah. right, it's, it's, a it's amazing. Yeah. So during the pandemic, how did that imp impact your practice? Did you get hit hard? Was that a big stressful time? Tell us a little bit about that in a couple minutes. You know, it was pretty stressful. Um, I closed for two weeks but mm -hmm. then the governor sent out a letter to our board saying will you please will chiropractors please consider staying open so people weren't going to the er for musculoskeletal issues and because you know they needed it for covid patients yeah. so then i opened back up and i stayed open during covid um so i'm you know obviously people were nervous and scared we had a lot of, uh, we had some system was put into our air conditioners that would fight COVID. Um, so we implemented a lot of safety procedures too, to help everybody during that time. But yeah, it definitely like yeah. slowed down. Yeah. But you're back up. We're still going strong here back at up. Imagine Wellness. <laughs> yeah. We're changing people's lives here in yeah. Phoenix. So Amazing. What would you say? What would you find most rewarding about your work as being a chiropractic doctor? We're coming near the tail end of this interview. Yeah, I would say definitely seeing people's lives change. Yeah, um, it, it's a beautiful because other patients then love to share their story on Google reviews because they're like, I never thought this was possible. And I hear that every day. I mean, it gives them hope. And then when I hear I never thought this was possible, that makes my day. Right. I yeah. know we're making an impact in our community. Right. Yeah. You see people come in one way and leave better. Yeah. After being with you. That's there it is. Yeah. That's I've what it's all about. Who came in and walkers and no longer needed it. Wow. Right. So Amazing. Uh, so we've covered a lot of good nuggets of information today from post accident yeah. checks, even even after you've been through the hospital and gotten the pain medications and yeah. And all this afterwards, months afterwards, you might want to consider chiropractic care, at least an initial uh, visit and workup. It can only help. Yeah. Uh, we talked about standard processed neurotrophin as a potential supplement yeah. that can help with the central nervous system regeneration. Boswellia yeah. is an herb on Dr. Zamora's radar. Yeah. And we even highlighted what follow-ups look like, x-rays. So would you say everybody needs to start with an x-ray? Absolutely, because we really do want to see how is their structure? How is the curve? Do they have scoliosis? We know scoliosis is bad because bone on nerve disease is building in the organ. So you always want to start with x-rays, what phase of degeneration, where, what levels are arthritic spurs, um, where is their ligament damage? So all those things you want to include for a thorough uh, care plan. What yeah. have you noticed over your career with nutrition? Like a, one or two things that you've noticed when they take something out and add something in that helped what you guys are also treating them for? Anything yeah. to mind? I, um, one thing I just, a patient just brought in an article for me the other day. It was about how artificial sweeteners damage your DNA. So people there. don't realize how important nutrition is, right? You are yeah. what you eat. 
Um, and the old saying is pay the farmer or pay the doctor. Nutrition plays a huge part um, in our healing and well-being. So imagine, yeah, getting those out. It's it's like a foreign object almost. The body's like, I don't know, it starts attacking it. Yeah. And then that promotes inflammation in the nerves and yeah. the spine, right? Right. And, you know, actually people who uh, use artificial sweeteners, WebMD did a study and it showed uh, their chance of obesity actually increased by 40 percent mm, because so it get doesn't get rid of those artificial sweet yeah because it doesn't <laughs> yeah. it doesn't actually satisfy so right then you're overeating you're trying to get yeah. that fix because it's not being uh, satisfied yeah. because with sugar if you eat enough your brain is like stop exactly it's this. real it's real <laughs> yes, right <laughs> dr zamora been a pleasure what's a good recap for today a take home we're gonna have you on again we're just getting started here yeah but absolutely. uh what's a good take home message for today's episode if you have headaches, digestive issues, if your kids have ADD, they have problems focusing, um, come and get adjusted, right? Get your an x-ray of your spine. It's about health and wellness, not just pain. And that's mm -hmm. what I really want people to take away. Absolutely. Perfect place to end it there. Thanks for coming on, Dr. Zamora. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.